And I think I think I'm gonna play some Blitz now. So let me just put the music back on. Actually, Benjamin's online too. Um, let me refresh this one second. Okay, let's go e4. Let's play knight f3. Play d4. I guess I'll just take. Um, what do I want to do? I guess I'll play c4 here. Go here, bishop e2, maybe h3. Keep it pretty simple. Probably knight c3, maybe b3 at some moment. Uh, I think I can play b3, but I'm going to go knight c3 to be safe. Let's go b3, bishop b2. Probably rook c1. Very, very pleasant position. I have knight a4 maybe as well at some moment. But it, it does look very, very pleasant for me. A lot of ideas here in the center of the board. Should be slightly better. He goes knight e5, I can obviously take, I can also move my knight to d4, which makes a lot of sense too, so I think I'll do it, maybe f4. Plays rook e8, I have f4, f5 here maybe, I think I'm just going to go for it. So I also have knight d5 here, I mean this looks, oh I forgot he had knight f8 for some reason, oh I just forgot knight f8 was even a move. That was kind of stupid of me. Hmm. Just forgot about knight f8 there for a second. Okay, let's go. Guess I have to take. Maybe I have some bishop h5 and knight d5, some kind of weird thing. I think I'll do it. Let's see. Cause I, I just I assume on G6 there might be something funny here. Some funny business with knight d5, maybe. Okay, let's just go back. Let's let's consolidate. Moving too slowly here. So let's just drop back, I guess. Maybe bishop f3. Really not happy with this position. This is not what I wanted at all, but it's maybe playable. It's got weak pawns at least. Who's queen c5? I don't think I'm actually that upset by that. Thought I could play like knight a4 and hit this pawn maybe. Okay, so he trades, so I take, so I take. I have knight d3, I have knight a4. I feel like I should have a pretty good position here. Maybe b4, maybe just king up to king e3 with h4. Ooh, that looks very dubious. I get knight d5. Should be very bad for black. Okay, it goes there. I mean, knight d5 looks strong. I can play a4. I don't know if it's necessary, but it looks strong. Okay, let's go. I think I'm just going to go here. I'll take, put the knight here. Now oh, he's got g5, which I also sh kind of forgot about. I guess I go here and rook g1. It's h6. Okay, I guess I'll go here, maybe h4 to open it up. I don't know if I like the way that Jossman was playing this. I think I'm doing very well. Let's go here, knight c4. Wants b5, which makes a lot of sense. I'll go here, take, and maybe just take. Let's go here. Oh, what was that? Whoops, I just blundered. Should have gone to c2. Oy, oy, oy. Okay, I just have to move. Let's go here. So just take. That was a blunder by Jocelyn. So does Rook F. Or no, he doesn't because I have check. If it takes, I go check. Should be good. Just 
go here, try to trade some rooks. Take this there, I guess I'll go here. I think this must be winning. Oh wait, no, he's got the king out seven, which I forgot about as a move. What exactly am I doing here? I feel like I'm misplaying this. Like, badly misplaying this at that. Knight d7, maybe? Yeah, I hung that badly. That was a bad game. I'm not going to win scrambles with this mouse either, so I really do need to be faster. It was a bad game. Very, very bad game by me. So when I uh, just take the knight, let's just castle. Four. Interesting. Okay, let's go here and trade. Very, very bad game. Uh, let's just go e6 and castles. Maybe queen b6 next move should be fine. Let's go here, hit the pawn. Okay, yeah, maybe 94. Fabiano is, yeah, I have my mouse, but it's, I, I also, I don't have a mouse pad. So it's, I'm not going to win scrambles. And, and the mouse, the, the mouse that I think you guys have seen like earlier, it's slipping all over the place. So like, if it gets to like 10 seconds each, I'm going to lose every game. I'm pretty confident. Um, and when I say that, okay, let's go 94. I can just take. So I really need to win games before we get to that stage. Although 94 is also a very bad move by me, I think. I don't know why I did that. Let's go here, maybe. Can obviously trade. Guess I'll trade and go here, maybe 94. Not ideal. It's playable, though. Okay, let's see. I'm going to go here, maybe 94 is still an idea. 92, maybe 96. Just need to be faster. If I'm faster than him, probably good things happen. If I'm not faster than probably bad things happen, basically, is the way that I have to treat all these games. Let's go here. Okay, I'll go back. So you go to G4, which actually I think is a bad move. But again, I have to move quick. If I'm not quick, like I'm gonna lose a scramble, so I need to move quicker. Use a blank notebook as a mouse pad. Yeah, I mean, obviously I could. Okay, I'm gonna take, I'm gonna go here. It's probably gonna take. Plays queen e4, which is interesting too. I can obviously trade if I want to. I don't think I should though. Should I trade or not? Actually, again, I, I have to move quicker though. So as I said, these scrambles, I'm probably gonna lose these time scrambles. I don't even know what I'm doing here. Okay, let's go here, trade, I guess. I'll get the king in. I think I'm going to go here, maybe king e8. Again, I think this was kind of stupid of me. Let's go here, I guess. If I get the check and I get my rooks active, I have chances maybe to win this. Okay, do some king f5? I mean, this is very weird. I also have a check, I guess. Check. Goes to f3, which I thought was slightly dubious. Go here. Because knight d7, I go king e7. I have rook c3, maybe. I 
I'm up on the clock, which is very important as well here. If I'm not up on the clock, bad things could happen. I mean, bad things can happen anyway, but... I guess I pre-move it. It should be a safe pre-move. So if I check... I have rook b6 here. Oh wait, it doesn't even work. Why did I do that? Let's go here, I guess. Let's go here. Wait, but this can't be right. Wait, okay. I should be winning here. I think I think Joss would mess this up. Maybe it's only a draw. Oh, and now I just blundered this too. Jeez. I am really not on my game right now. Yikes. What am I even doing? It's actually a draw, I think. Oh no, I'm losing. I'm actually losing this. Yeah, yeah. Okay, let's 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 reset a little bit. It was a very bad game. I'll get the lead, but that was really really bad. He might adopt me. Nah, no chance. I just ha I just have to be qu I have to be quicker and not like not blunder basically, because uh, that was a really bad blunder what I did in that game. So I just need to slow it down a little bit, be somewhere in between. Because the first game I never should have lost. That was actually kind of the start of all the problems. Okay, D5, okay, let's go E5. Play A5, okay, I'm gonna rotate the knight, play like bishop E3, here maybe bishop F2. And go to D2, but I'll go this way. Okay. Actually, wait, I can actually throw this in maybe and take. I think that's a mistake by him, okay, let's take. I want to go bishop f6 and like queen h4. I'm actually not sure how he's supposed to take. He takes with the queen, which I think is a mistake. Can I go bishop? Okay, I think I just go here. He's going to have to play. Okay, he does this. I mean, this looks pretty insane. This is pretty insane. Okay, now I can throw in the check. And, I mean, the knight f6 is probably winning. But I don't know for a fact it is, so I'm just going to take to be safe. I assume knight f6, okay, he goes king h8. I'm just gonna go here first, because I threaten rook c5. I also threaten knight f6 too, okay, I go here. Because now queen b5, I just go a4, and it should be game over. I also have knight d7, I, I mean, which which one do I want, I guess? Wait, wait, wait a second, wait a second. This is all winning, I just have to not be stupid here. Okay, let's just go here, let's pick up some rooks. Uh, which rook do I want to take? I guess I'll take this one takes a bishop f6 i can also just go like queen d2 i guess and bishop f6 next move okay now now i'm just winning i just have to finish this up let's go here and this this, this game's going to be over pretty soon after seven games will i be in the lead i should be in the lead yeah let's just go here Knight g5, knight e4, it's just ggs. Let's go here. Okay. That's he's still keeping some some glimmer of hope alive. Shouldn't really matter though. Just rook c1, rook a7. F6. It's actually not a bad move. I'll just go back. I think I should go here to hit the bishop. Let's go here and now, now the game ends. I guess I'll just take. You can go queen b7, rook c7, queen b1.
Okay, that's better. Let's get back to G6. I don't know if I should play it like this, but I will. He wants to do that. Can obviously take, but that's probably a draw. It's a very draw sh pawn structure if I do that. So I'm going to do this knight to 7 I guess. I never allow e5 in this variation. Yeah, it's 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 kind of I mean what I'm playing here is dubious. This is not a good good opening, but I'm trying to make it kind of work. This is obviously very dubious. I would never play this. I would never play this opening in, like in the in this Grand Chester event because I would I would almost certainly lose if I did this. So I'm kind of I'm kind of assuming that I can get away with it against Jospin. And probably I won't, but I'm going to see if I can. Why do I play dubious openings? Because I want decisive results. When I play online, it's decisive. I want decisive results. End of the day, that's the reason I do it. The not nothing else. Like it has nothing to do with like the caliber of the player. I just don't. I don't want to play boring, sort of dry kind of lines. I'm going to take this way. Maybe go knight d5. He takes. Interesting. Let's go here. It's kind of unclear what's going on. I assume I'm slightly worse. But I actually don't know because I have knight b8. Let's go here. So bishop c6, I have knight b8, I thought. Let's go. I think I have to go here now. So he's really trying to force the bishop to c6. Okay, goes g4. I think g4 is slightly wrong because now I think I start to get aggressive with some sort of trick like rook d4. Goes rook b1. I think I can still go queen e7 or queen a5 is also move. Then f5, rook a4. I'm gonna do it. I don't know if this is right. Oh, but he also yeah. What, why did I do that though? Okay, let's go. Let's go here. I don't actually know what I'm doing in this game. I feel like I'm just kind of throwing again. Let's go here, I guess I take. Time to throw, yeah. I mean, I'm trying not to. My knight is terrible here. I can also play like, I'm trying to go h5. Actually, my, my pawn is hanging too, I just realized. Okay, wait a second, wait a second. Okay, there's gotta be something here. Let's go here, let's try to really complicate the situation. I don't know if this works, but I'm trying to do something wild, wild and wacky. Might not work, but he's gonna have to use a lot of time trying to figure this out. Goes queen g5. Thought I'd rook takes d4 here, which maybe is a move. Check, check. Whatever, let's go for it. I think that was a blunder too. I think I had to go to e3. Maybe it's still very unclear though. Can I go here? Let's rook f1. There's an actual threat, but is there a mate threat or not? There's probably a mate, but I don't actually see it. Don't actually see a checkmate here. Is there actually not a mate for white? Don't actually see a checkmate. It's crazy. I don't think white has a checkmate here. It goes rook f3, but. 
But now he's going to lose the game, I think. He also has no time, so now, I mean, I should be able to beat him. Okay, there we go, we got the win. Better, not great, but better. Let's play the same line. I, I was winning that last game, so let's see what I can do here. Let's go here. Okay, I'll play bishop e2. Go here. It's queen a5, logical move. I think I'm gonna go a3 and b4 maybe. So many blunders in the last five seconds. Well, I mean, he had no time, so obviously he's gonna blunder there. But I mean, I also was pretty bad too. Like, I, I was not clean in converting that game the way I should have been. Place h6, not really concerned. I'm just gonna go like g3, consolidate my chain. Maybe knight d2. I don't really want to trade, so I think, how do I do this? I guess I'll play, don't really want to trade, but I'll do it like this with knight d2, maybe rook c3, d3. There's rook d8, okay, I'm going to go rook c3. d5 I can just take, he's probably going to move the queen, and then I'm going to play like rook d3. b5 I just trade, reroute my knight, should be pretty pleasant for me here. Plays b5 as expected. Okay, so I trade. I think I should be better here. His pawn on b5 should be a weakness long term. This should be a little bit better for me. I mean, plays e5, which is probably a very good move. And it's a move that for whatever reason I didn't really consider. To do this, and now, now it's probably very unclear. I go here. Play g4. I think I'm just going to not take. I think yeah, this is pretty ugly. Let's go here. Plays knight f5. Strange move. It's probably good, but I don't think it was the absolute best move. I'm playing knight f1. I don't know what I'm doing though. I'm playing this very poorly. Still should be able to draw this if I play this correctly. But I have to be very careful how I do this. Let's go here. I guess I go queen d4. Oh, that's a blunder too. Okay, let's go here. Queen d4 allows knight g5 and knight f3. So, hmm. Okay, he gets an extra pawn. He's up two pawns, but this is not cleanly winning, I don't think. Oh, the knight e3 was stupid, too, because now I gave him rook a8. It was very stupid. I need to bring my king in, and then I had chances. Of course, he sees it because there's no other move. Here, I guess. <clears throat> Might be one, maybe rook d5. I have four. Okay, let's go here.
This is very tricky end game. Should I assume this might be a draw now? It was B five. Let's go here. Maybe King C five next move. Keep pushing, I guess. Wait a second. This should be a draw somehow. Before King G5 trade, after B. I mean, this should be a draw because Rook B4. That was also a very bad move. I, mean, I don't know why I played that. What am I doing? Oh, I also have no time, I just realized. There's like no chance. I can't I can't win a time scramble, so there's just no chance. The king king e five also is a bad move. But I just can't win a time scramble, so it's Yeah, I can't. I can't win a scramble. There's just no chance to win a scramble. I have to. I just can't win them. I have to be up on the clock. If, I, if I'm not up on the clock, I'm not going to win a scramble. So I have to be. I just have to be faster every game, or else I can't win. Because I'm going to lose every scramble. Castle, let's play. Okay, let's play a five here. Let's go f five and takes. We can see it, maybe 1996. He is moving fast, which is actually quite smart of him. Normally, he's much slower. Poor mouse sounds like it's taking severe abuse. Yeah, but I mean, the thing is, like, it's just, it's what it is. There's not much I can do about it. Okay, plays f3. That's not a good move. Let's go queen e8. I can play f4, but I think I'm just going to go here. Maybe f4 next, but maybe g5. I'll go here, of course. Just have to be faster than him every game. Okay, now I'll go f4. Now now he's going to have problems. Now I, now I should win this game. Is that new background? No, it's not. I'm, I'm in uh, St. Louis. Let's take the pawn. Takes, I take. I get rook a8. Maybe I'm still better. It's complicated, though. Okay, one. So I go here, here. Oh, I could have taken and taken out four. Oh, yeah, yeah. I could have just taken. Mm. That was very idiotic of me. Wait a second. Playing d4. Get my king out of the way so I can take. This should be good for me somehow, but it's just a question of how. Play queen f6 maybe. I think I'll just go here. Queen e8 maybe. Hit the pawn. And I can obviously take. I think I should go go here first. Plays rook b1. Logical move. I can always take. I'll go here. Queen e8 was maybe a better move. Okay, now he, he gave me knight d6, which is which is should be good for me, but it's also still very unclear. I can also take maybe. So I have f3. I also have knight d6. And bishop b5. Wait, what? Here. Let's go here. Still got queen f2, which I also conveniently forgot was a move. So I trade and go bishop d3. 
plays e5. So take, he takes, I guess. He's got triple pawn, so it's still very, very unclear. D7, I go here. Actually, Bishop H3, I can just take the pawn. It should be winning for me. Hopefully, I'm not blundering something. C3, maybe. I also have C5 here. C5. He missed a win. I think Bishop E6 was winning for him. I got lucky that he didn't see it, but I'm still. It's still very unclear. What am I doing? I guess I go. Wait, Rook eight allows Bishop G two. What am I doing? Hmm. Can obviously trade everything down. I mean, I guess I have to do this. It's just a draw, probably. It's going to be a draw here. Or it should be a draw. Maybe I just threw it. I think I'm gonna win this game now, or not. <sighs> yeah, it's just a drop. Bad game, very, very bad. Let's go e4. Let's go here, let's trade, let's go here. Why do I think there's so many viewers today? Because the tournament just ended, that's why. I also haven't streamed for five days as well. It's always a struggle when you can't beat someone on the clock. <laughs> Jossman is better, funny. That first game really tilted it. Because the first game, if I win that first game, then the whole match is different. That That's really what set the tone, that first game. This queen a5, that doesn't look right. Okay, I'm just going to go g4, h4. Probably will go knight d7. Uh, again, I don't know why I did this either, though. Let's go here. Knight b3, I guess. Maybe I should have just played f4 right away. Can maybe be a Bobby Fisher. Takes double pawns. I really don't want to play this, but I guess I will. Let's go here. He takes and I take, I guess. Kind of don't know why I played f4 either. Probably was not the right move. Just take the pawn. I can play h3. I can go rook g1 here. Wait. I mean, h3 is probably fine. I don't love it. Let's just do it. So I'll go here. Rook f1, maybe. Maybe just bishop e3 back. I definitely want some knight a5 trick, which is why I put the bishop here. Just there, okay. Maybe I'll go here, maybe just bishop e3. 
So let's go here and hit the knight. I think knight knight h5 is better. Okay, this is g5. F5. Not thrilled by this position that I have, but it's gonna play well. Okay, I'll go here. Oh, I just had knight c4. Why don't I go knight c4? This is a better choice. We play knight c4. I think knight c4 is fine. And obviously trade, I can also go rook f1. What's this threat? D5 or something? No actual threats. There's probably some threat that I'll miss here, but I'll play rook d2 anyway and hope that there's no trick. Just to guard the pawn. There probably is some trick that I'm missing in here. The longer he thinks, the less likely it becomes that there is a trick. He goes bishop a8. I'm going to go rook f2, I guess. I think I now go knight a4, maybe knight b6 next move. Of course, I just blundered, obviously, because that's what I do. I don't even know how I didn't see that. That was such an obvious move. Insane. That was ridiculous. How did I blunder knight, knight c4? Jeez. Some weird hope, I guess. Go. Go here? Yeah, this doesn't do anything either, I guess. Oh, what what was that? Wait, what was that? Oh man, my mouse just did it again to me. Oh man, this mouse is killing me today. What was that? This mouse is killing me. This castle? Okay. Play f5 here. No, that was the mouse. I mean, I probably would have lost the game anyway, but the, I mean, he was getting low on time, so it's not it's not guaranteed that I would have lost that. If, if, he, if, he, if he had more time, he definitely wins that easily. But the fact that he was low on time, I'm not 100% sure that I would have lost that. Probably I would have, but I'm not certain. Let's go here. Here, probably queen of seven, rookie eight, maybe. Go here, me rookie eight. Let's go rookie eight. G4 to ninety seven. I think my queen is okay here. Can obviously go e five. It's probably not. Is it probably? It's probably bad, but I'm gonna do it anyway. And trust that I'm not losing on the spot here, which I very well might be somehow. Yeah. Okay, you guys, stop being stop being douchebags. This has nothing to do with Magnus. Stop being all weird. Seriously, we're just playing blitz here. 
Like, uh, or else we're gonna go E mode only in a second. Okay, let's play E4, Knight D6 maybe. I'm also gonna Knight A5 maybe. Knight D6 is a move I wanna play. I don't know if it actually works, but I, oh, he's got, whatever, let's just do it. Wait, t wait, wait, wait a second, wait a second. I think I just take and take, and I have bishop f5, and I should be, I have chances now, I should be winning here. Let's go here, take the bishop, and should be winning now. Jospin did blunder there. One pleb ruining again? Yeah, I mean, obviously. Okay, now do I take with a knight or not? I think I do. So I can take, I've got knight c3, I've got rook e4. Should be pretty cleanly winning, wait, okay, wait a second. This is a mistake, okay, let's take. Okay, wait a second, wait a second. This is definitely losing, I just have to find the right right move. Let's go here. Take some bishop c2, should be winning. So I have rook f4, yeah, queen d6, I just take the rook and that's game over. Okay, there we go. Not not the greatest game ever. Let's change it up. Let's play d4, do something different. e5, probably I take and go knight f3 here. It's queen b6. I can obviously play like queen b3 to trade queens. Let's trade. Let's go a3. Plays b5, doesn't really threaten anything. So I'll go here and bishop c2 at some point. Oh, I also had e4 there, which I should have played. Let's go e4. It's knight e2, probably just bishop takes a4. Let's just castle. Go here, maybe rook e1, maybe bishop g3. I can take if I want. I think I'm gonna go rook b1 temporarily. There's g5, so I drop back to f2. Put the rook on d1, maybe c1. Just play chess. I'm gonna take and go f4. I don't know if this is a good move, but it's a move to close the bishop in, even though I'm down a pawn, the bishop's hemmed in. Okay, takes with the pawn. Now I do have knight f3 here. I want his rookie four, of course. So bad. I guess I'll move my knight around. Try to play around this rook in the center. It's kind of weird position. Okay, it goes there. That shouldn't really concern me. I'm just, oh, maybe I can give him bishop a3. I can just. Okay, it goes knight a5, so I guess I go knight d2 to hit the rook. So I'll go here. Maybe knight f3, knight e5 next move. Maybe b3. Let's go back. Hmm. Guess I'll go for broke. Probably wrong, but I'll try it. If b4, okay, so I take, obviously. He can't take, so I take, and I have d5. Takes, so I take, and take, I guess. I 
up a lot of time on the clock, which is very important right now. Here, hit the pawn. I have rook b1 next move. I think I'm starting to unwind this. I guess I'll just drop back. Oh, do I blunder knight, oh, knight d4 I take? Let's go here. Let's go here and hit the pawn maybe. Oh, I d5, which was winning. Oh, he missed it. Yes, he let me get it again. Wow, I got lucky there. So bad, so bad. Now I can take and take. Oh, what, what are, wait, I guess I just take, yikes. And now I take and go knight d4 and this should just be winning. Actually, let's go here. He's got a lot of double pawns, so this, this has to be just winning. I think I can just take now, because takes, I take rookie two, I just go like knight d4. I'm gonna get the win. Let's go here. Just take the bishop and win the game. All right, let's go again. Oh, let's get back to solid land. Let's play knight f6 or e5 knight 6. Let's play. Um, yeah, let's play this one. Let's play g6. G7. It's h4. Okay, I'm gonna go h6 here. Let's go d5. Strike at the center. As the saying goes, when your opponent attacks on the wing, attack in the center. Let's play f5. Maybe not best, but I'm going to do it anyway. Um, I guess I'll just sidestep. Have to be careful of knight g5 tricks at some point. Okay, goes knight g3, which looks dubious, like very dubious to me. Let's go here, maybe knight a5. Hit the bishop, maybe bishop e6. This should be good for me. Let's go here. Okay, I guess I'll play c5. I don't know if it's best. Again, looks reasonable as a move. It was g3, interesting move, I guess. Move the knight back, I can take with queen c7. Let's go here, if takes, takes. At some point he has to figure out where his king is going. I don't know if he's castling or not, but it looks very slow. It should be bad for white. Thank you to Coder Kushel. Thank you so much to Coder Kushel. Okay, I'm going to play b5 here. So go c4. Hem his bishop in. At b4, I'm going to go. Okay, plays rook b1. So I think now I just play simple solid chess and his king. He has kingside problems basically that he can't resolve easily. I guess I'll play a5, maybe takes. Let's go back. His king is very iffy here in the middle of the board. Would be hilarious if the mouse disconnected. Yeah, if the mouse got disconnected, that would be pretty unbelievably bad. Okay, goes knight g4 again, trying to do something here in the center. But I think he's just too slow. I go rook a2, queen d7 maybe. I know I have something that's probably just popping and winning, like knight b4 and c3, but I don't, I don't see the instant win, so I kind of don't want to play it. Okay, but I've got time, so there has to be some way this is just winning. Knight b4 and c3 actually looks very attractive. Well, let's go for it. Try to simplify the position just a little bit here. Let's pre move c3, trap the juicer on d2. There's e5, so I can obviously just take. I think rook c8 must be close to winning. Still not easy though. Actually. It should be easy. He's just he's just tripled. Yeah, we're we're, we're gonna win this game. Thank you to Coder Kushal again for the three months. Thank you so much, Coder. Appreciate. It. Thank you to all you guys for the subs, the resubs. You guys are amazing. Thank you. Now I take and I just take and I mean, I mean F three is probably well F three probably wins. I mean everything wins here. It's just a question of which one I want to go for. Let's just do this one. Simplest, I just 
take and then I just take and just takes and takes pretty simple Okay, we got the dub. Play knight f3. Okay, let's go back to the same thing. There's castle. F4, I guess F5 next move. Plays h6. I think h4 is fine here, if I remember this correctly. I can always trade and go g4, g5. Uh, I think I'm gonna sidestep king b1. Not necessary, but it's a move that makes sense. Okay, goes queen a5. Now I can definitely take. I can also definitely play knight b3. I can also maybe play rook e1. I'm gonna do it. I don't know if it's playable. It's always unclear if black can take the bishop or not. He does take. Okay, let's see what his idea is. Knight h5. Oh, we, oh, we can just take on f4, I guess. G3. Maybe I have queen f3 at some point. Maybe e5, something. Probably is losing. Let's go here. Trying to sack material if I can. Have I ever adopted Jospin? No, because Jospin never plays to 10. He always stops at 9. I've beaten him 9-0 probably on 3 or 4 occasions, but he always stops. Not going to lie, I liked, it, liked more the previous location at camera angle. Well, obviously, because like that's my main setup. Uh, I don't, I, I mean, like, yeah, I'm going to go G4 and takes, I guess. I mean, obviously you'd like it more. That's my main setup, dude. Wait, don't I have Rick H7? He just blundered. This is GG's. It's another win. Okay, there we go. Starting to finally play better. Let's get back to being solid. No no more G6s against Jocelyn. Let's go A6. Okay, let's play, I think D6 and 97 is correct. It's D5, okay, right, it won't go. Ah, he wants to play this one, okay. This one, I think takes us fine. I believe knight f6 is okay here. It's not the main move, but I believe it's supposed to be okay. No more cheese sixes? No, g6, g6, g6. But yeah. Okay, I guess I'm just gonna castle. Maybe I have a5 here? No, maybe not. a5, a3, rook b8 is kind of weird. I'm gonna I'm going to do it. I don't know if it's a good move or not, but I'm going to try it. I'll almost certainly go a3, and I'll go rook b8 to go b4. And it's something. Something's happening. I don't know what. Okay, I can always go... I guess I should play b4. I mean, it's knight b5 or knight a4, but knight b5 might run into some a4 trick here. Let's go here, hit the knight. Probably goes d4, and then I have, like, rook e8. Very unclear position. Very, very unclear. Let's go here and hit the pawn. That's a good move. Hmm. How do I play this? Maybe I go bishop g4, knight e7? No, then he's knight e6. I'm 
gonna go rook b8, maybe rook b7. Probably bad for me, but it's worth a shot. Let's go here. We have e5, I can always just take the pawn. It's very important that I have this. Don't even know if queen 8 is really all that great, but it looks like a move. Okay, goes knight c6 now. If I take? He takes, I just take the pawn. Jossum's actually starting to slip a little bit. He's starting to get a little, I don't know if tired's a word, or the quality of his play is, is, is going downhill, I've noticed, though. So this is when I need to pounce. Quality of his play is definitely going down. Yeah, I just go here, and now he's just losing. The quality of his play has gone way downhill. Way downhill. Now I just trade, take the pawn. Can obviously take even. I can also go like knight c3. Okay, now though is where I should be just cleanly winning. So now this is where I need to be smart about how I play this. I'm just gonna go here, take with the pawn. Try to create a pass pawn here that just ends the game. Might have some queen c4, but this should just be winning. Okay, goes queen d5, he's trying to do something. I guess I'll just go here. Cover the diagonal, maybe rook e2 at some moment. Let's go check. Okay, now though, now though might get all the way in with, or wait, not queen e2, wait. Just go uh, rook e2, I guess. If knight d4, I have rook d2, which should just be ggs. This should be game over. Who's knight h4? So he's trying to get knight g6, and it's it's obviously not gonna happen. So let's go here and hit the pawn. So goes rook f1. I mean, c2 probably just ends the game, but I don't really want to take risks at this point. So I think I'm just gonna be really mean and go queen d4 and just do it this way. Okay, make a queen, but then he takes. This looks simple, because now I just make a queen. Takes, I have bishop b2. Goes queen a6, I think I just take. I have f1, c1, should be game over. Should be good. Oh, uh, yeah. That's I. I think that's good. I'm, I'm gonna stop there. Why do players throw in a meaningless check before resigning? I don't know. That was a good match. It was a good match. Jossman at the end, definitely the quality. He just started making blunders in the last like two games, especially that he wasn't making before. But it was pretty good. Back over 3200, I guess. Um, miss nine on H4. I don't know. Maybe I did, but it's it's what it is at any rate. Um.